Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 7. This is a really good one. Let's get started. Alright, first up are our models. This is Michael Ball. He is a singer and a presenter and an actor. I don't know much about him, so he must be very involved in British television. Now, after four hours, the artists turn their easels around and he gets his first look at the choices of paintings that he's going to take home. Remember, this has nothing to do with the final judging. And right now, it looks kind of promising. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ooh, wow. Well, that's, that's looking just fine. Wow, nicely done. Look how round those forms are. Yeah. Nice choice of the background, too, because if they'd gone with a really dark background, it would have looked as if he was sort of cut out of the, uh, the piece. And uh, it really integrates him nicely. Oh, and you pull back, and man, it holds up. Oh, what a, what a delight. That's, that's really nice to see. Nice, good, good job there. So, I, I also sort of like the inform informality of it. There's something about it that's kind of captivating. It's a sweet little, little gem of a painting. All right, here's the next one. This is, um, th this is unusual, isn't it? It must be colored pencil. How they did that in four hours, whew, I, I don't know. We've seen other drawings on the program, and they're always, or nearly almost always, unfinished. But this, this is completely finished. I don't know what you would do to make it, do, you know, bring it home. I mean, done and dusted. Oh, hello. Pull away. Hmm. Well, you know how I feel about islands surrounded by oceans. You know, he looks like an island and he's surrounded by oceans. Oh, please anchor those shoulders in for me, please. That's just a, kind of a pet peeve I have. But but that's a that's a fine fine piece of work. Nicely done. And holds up when you when you pull back. All right, there'll be one more. The third oh, interesting. So there's the whole figure being done. Look how relaxed the figure is. Boy, that's so hard to do to make a full figure look look relaxed. The hands are not overworked. And that choice of that pink in the background. Oh, wow. Really, really nice. Really joining a lot of good color mixing. And soft color mixing, too. But boy, when you squint your eyes, you can see the value ranges there from the whitest whites to the darkest darks. You pull back. Um, I, I'm not as thrilled with it when you pull back, but that's because it's, it has, um, because it's tiny, I guess. Um, just, just for my preference, I like where it was cropped and we looked at it close up, but, um, but that's a fine piece of work. All right, so let's see what Michael's pick is. This is the one he's going to take home with him, and I have no idea any of them would, would really be fine. That's a delight to see so many really nice paintings. Oh, we picked the first one. Nice choice. Yeah, I think he'll be very happy with that. It really is a beautifully, beautifully done piece. Not labored over in any way. And, oh yeah, yeah. I love it when you can see the model looking at his own self. There's something sort of surreal about that and fun. All right, the next one up is, I think, yeah, Robert Bath Hurt. He's an actor, a writer, and a radio personality. His face looks familiar to me, but I can't quite recall from what. Oh, maybe I do know. Uh, I'm thinking now of a BBC series, which was about uh, six, uh, th uh, six people, three different couples. I can't remember what it was called. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that, he was definitely on that program and played kind of a lawyer kind of husband who was kind of um, a little little severe, if I remember correctly. Anyway, four hours later, easels are turned around. Interesting background, isn't it? That ribbony kind of thing going on in the background. I don't think anyone is going to play with that very much. But let's see what happens. Oh, okay, here's the first one. Now, in watching the program, the judges said that this started out as being a drawing that absolutely captured him. But as the day went on, the resemblance sort of dissolved, which is just, I, I know the pain of that. <laughs> I don't know any painter that hasn't had that happen. And you've got to pick yourself up and, and go again. But in this case, you don't. You know, you only have one shot to do it. Uh, 
boy, there's a lot to like in this painting though, isn't it? A real colorist bringing that blue in as a as a mid-tone was a, was a nice choice. Pulling back, not as impactful, I have to say, but that could be due to the four hours. We'll, we'll see if he gets a chance, if, if we see later, if we get a chance to see the piece that he entered into the program, to get on the program, kind of what his range is. But uh, nicely done. Here's the next one. Oh boy. Well, you know I love this kind of painting. I've showed my hand on these recaps before. When someone will give you just the right amount of information, but not too much. I'm a minimalist painter. Well, I want to be a minimalist painter. I don't pull it off nearly as much as I would like to. And this reminds me of David Chavino. If you um, want to Google him, oh God, I love his love his work so much. And you pull back. See, for some reason, that doesn't have that same island surrounded by oceans effect because of the pixelation of the background. That's really carefully observed. Um, Nicely done. I, I, um, very interesting, very interesting piece. Wow, everyone's done a really nice job so far on this episode. Sure is more fun when everybody can bring their best. I think the narration cut out. What, I'm, what I was saying was uh, it's nice to see everyone on their, their best day. Here's the last one of Robert. Um, wow, that's a big ambitious piece, isn't it? The judges thought this was the one that most resembled him, so they were very happy with this painting. Um, I've got no complaint about it either. And again, fun to see the, uh, the model looking at himself. <laughs> Let's see which one he picks. Robert's pick. It is going to be, oh, it's the one that we just saw. Close up, you can really see, boy, she pushed those reds. Look how she pushed the reds on the inside of the eyes, the lips, the inside of the ears. Along, oh, so smart with that blue background. Oh, on to the next. Anita Rani, she is an actress. Well, oh, look at that face. Ah, oh, beautiful people. Beautiful people live on TV. <laughs> they don't live among us. They live on TV. I'm not familiar with her acting, but uh, but she certainly, gosh, something. Oh, and look, the black chair. The black chair. The black chair is starting to be in every episode. It needs an honorable mention. All right, four hours later, the artists turn their easels around, and oh boy, does this look promising. Oh, what a delight this episode is. Everybody, everybody's doing so well. All right, let's see. She is gonna pick one. Oh, hello. So this is, uh, this is one that also the judges felt had started out with such great promise, and then as the day went on, uh, did not really look like her very much. Pull back, oh, I like it pulled back. It's pretty strong. Ooh, does it have a resemblance? Oh, I'm not that familiar with her face, but uh, I don't think it, uh, it's not the strongest resemblance that we've seen so far in this episode to somebody, but um, but I also know how hard it is to do a face that's full on like that, you know, sort of a mug shot. You need those angles. I need those angles. That's a beautiful piece of painting, isn't it? Look at the orange with that, with um, contrasted with the blue on the right. Just that itself is beautiful. Oh, that is really lovely soft painting. On, in a really, really high key, which is pretty difficult to do, and keep, keep things clean and not chalky. There's a tendency when you get into high key, I think when you use acrylic or oils, to uh, lean on the titanium white, and so things can become chalky, but they're not chalky here. Those are clear color choices made, nicely done. And from far away, oh, it holds up nicely as well. I think this person was in the a contest before. I think he's returned. So um, so maybe he had... I don't remember him from the past. Although something in my brain is making me remember him. I don't know what it is. Well, right now, this is the one I would pick to go home. Just, I love the color story. And uh, and I think it resembles her. Oh, here's the first one that, I, that is a little bit troublesome for me. Um, woo, okay, okay. Well, um, it's pretty flat. Oh, when you pull back, yeah, no impact when you pull back. Uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about this one. I, it might, it, uh, mm, she might have really suffered from the time constraints. I don't know. So let's see what Anita's pick is. I really don't know which one she's going to pick. Oh, she picked that one. <gasps> yeah, I would like to have that painting too. Nice choice. Ooh. 
So, um, yeah, that's just beautiful. All right, semifinal judging. Now, in the semifinals, three of these people will be selected for this particular episode and will be judged against each other, but only one will go forward to what they call the real semifinals, which I think is episode uh, nine. So there's one more episode before we get to that one, or two more episodes before we get to that one. Uh, okay, here's the first one. Yeah, that was a beautiful piece of painting. That's, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, anything they pick I think is going to be absolutely fine. We had such a strong number of good paintings to choose from. So that's really nicely done. R yeah, what a color story. Look at the shoes. Oh, wow. Just nicely, nicely done. All those different varieties of reds and keeping things warm and then cooling things down. This one with that minimal information, uh, yeah, I... Uh, I already tipped my hand that I, I I just love that kind of painting in general. Um, when it comes to the final commission, I don't know, but we're going to get a chance to see what her piece was that she presented to enter the program. So we're about to see a little bit of kind of their range. Oh, and this one, nice. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh well, it's a good thing I'm not a judge because I would have to advance all three of these people. These are these are fine paintings. I would advance probably would have advanced everybody except one in this particular show. I think what I'm proving is that uh, art competition may not be my thing. All right, so now what we get to do is see the artists submit a digital self-portrait in order to be on the program. So they're judged to be on the program. They have unlimited time to do that piece, and the piece that they do today was done in four hours. So on the right is the one they did today. That's quite a range, don't you think? Wow. Quite a different color story from the left and to the right. Uh, I need to think about that a little bit. But, um, but they're always looking for something different and something exciting, and I think they've got it there. Oh, now look, look at this. When you have a lot of time, look at how much more... Uh, what do I want to say? Um, I guess the word would be finished and completed, the one his self-portrait is, than the one he did today. But the bones of everything that he did is just beautifully, beautifully done. I mean, the structure. And, and, and also that, that choice of format, long and thin for one and, and um, rectangular going the other way. Uh, he's, he's, he's willing to experiment and try some different things. That's, that's enjoyable to see. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. So when she had all the time in the world, that pixelation starts to kind of gel into, into f some more forms. That's, that's really interesting. I'm not sure that I would have, if, if I had seen the two paintings separated from each other, if I would have known it was the same artist. So that's kind of interesting. So here are the three finalists, and only one will be chosen to go on, like I said. And um, I don't know which one they're going to pick. Mm. I have three fav favorites. <laughs> there they are. All right, the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. The winner is... Well, this surprised me, but we've talked before. The art, the, um, the judges want something modern. I don't say modern, but progressive and, and different. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color. And I will see you next time. Oh, and please join my YouTube channel. All right. Bye-bye.